Lev Vygotsky was a Russian developmental psychologist whose major contributions to the field and to education occurred between the early 1920s and mid to late 1930s. While Vygotsky was only able to provide roughly a decade of work, his contributions are ever present in today's classrooms. As a developmental psychologist, Vygotsky focused a great deal on not only the development of children, but the learning processes involved with their development. According to Vygotsky, learning happens because we interact with the environment. Further, he believed that we do not learn because we have developed, rather, we develop because we have learned. In short, learning precedes development. Learning new things enhances our developmental level. However, in order to learn, we must be presented with tasks that are just out of reach of our present abilities. Tasks that are too simple or already within our present abilities do not promote learning. On the other hand, tasks that are too complex become frustrating and no learning occurs. Vygotsky believed that those tasks which are just beyond our present ability exist in what he called the zone of proximal development. The tasks in the zone of proximal development are the things we can almost do ourselves, but need help from others to accomplish. After receiving help from others, we will eventually be able to do them on our own, thus shifting them out of our zone of proximal development. In other words, we have learned something. Here is an example. Little Johnny cannot swim. If he tried to teach himself to swim, he would most likely drown. However, if Johnny enlists the help of a swimming instructor, he will soon be able to learn to swim. In this scenario, Swimming would be considered to be within Johnny's zone of proximal development. Why? Because it is a task he cannot accomplish on his own, but he can accomplish with the encouragement and guidance from someone else. Okay, so how does the concept of the zone of proximal development factor into the roles of today's teachers? Simple. The subject matter that teachers are going to teach our students falls within their zone of proximal development. Our students are able to learn the content. They just need guidance and encouragement from a teacher in order to do so. As teachers, we must be conscious of the fact that every student has a different zone of proximal development. In modern educational jargon, this means differentiation. Educators must design lesson plans that cater to the zone of proximal development for each of their students in order to avoid boredom and or frustration in the classroom. The take home message, every student learns differently, but more importantly, every student can learn. They just need the help of a teacher.